Welcome to the Mount Zion Prayer Call. We pray that your needs will be met and your prayers will be answered. Now please join Bishop Walker and the entire Mount Zion family as we go to God in prayer. The Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you today to the Mount Zion Prayer Call. I want to thank God for all of you that are on the call today. I believe that this is going to be a wonderful day for you. I tell you, God is truly an amazing God. The fact that you're up today, the fact that God has given us a brand new mercy is enough to give him glory. I tell you, God is just amazing. And I'm excited about your future. I'm excited about <clears throat> everything that God is going to do. We are still rejoicing, uh, uh, even on yesterday, on, on Sunday, rather. So we're in this series on, I'm telling you, just going after destiny. I mean, just determined to reach it. We, we talked about, it's really okay if you let me go, if you leave me. I'm telling you, God spoke to us through the book of Ruth. Everybody has an orpa, and you got to know how to let orpa go. If you missed that message, go to Mount Zion anywhere.org check it out it will bless your life i'm telling you i'm telling you so many people have uh, stopped me in the street and said bishop that word was right where i live i I certainly thank god for that that's the power of god's word i also want to uh, thank god for all of you because as you know tonight 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 don't forget to tune in to tbn of course we'll be sharing with Bishop Paul Morton, what a historical moment it will be. You'll be able to hear uh, about the shift and where full gospel is going. And of course, Pastor Deborah Morton and uh, it was Jennifer Holliday, William Murphy. You talk about just a powerful, powerful night we had. I mean, Cassie Davis from the House of Pain, y'all. It, it was just awesome. You don't want to miss it. And uh, that's at 9 o'clock Eastern tonight, TBN. I believe it's Channel 15 Cable here in Nashville. Check it out. And uh, it will be a blessing to your life. Also, don't forget Bible study tomorrow. How do you know you're over your, the pain of your past? We're going to be in uh, the series, Relationship Clinic. I'm still uh, teaching on this. I'm just going to stretch it out, stretch it out uh, the rest of this month. We're going to just stay there and uh, let this series just do what God wants it to do. So I encourage you to be a part. Come out and be a part of Bible study. Uh, it will be a blessing to your life. Now this weekend, don't forget, uh, Relay for Life, it kicks off, and we definitely want, uh, I think there's an opportunity to register, get involved uh, in, in, in registration for that, actually. Registration begins this weekend. You can definitely get your teams together. We want you to do that. As we know, in June every year, we have an awesome time uh, in Relay for Life. So don't forget to be a part of that, and uh, we believe it will be a blessing to your life. God has given me a word today. Uh, that I really want to share. This word is going to be a blessing to you. It's found in uh, Psalm 34 and verse 19. Psalm 34 and 19. The Bible says, and this is a powerful scripture, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. What a powerful word David gives to us today, and I just want to speak to it today because I just believe today I want you to leave the saying, he's working it out. You know, the thing I love about God is that he's always moving. He's always got a plan for our lives. When we experience challenges that may come, we don't realize that Paul says in Romans 8, 28, that all things still work together for good. To those who love God and are called according to his purpose, that God is still working. Sometimes when we are presented with bad news or challenges, we, we kind of wonder, Lord, where are you? Are you really working? Are you really allowing this to happen? And the devil sometimes can interrogate us and make us think that God's just passive on the side of the road and he's not moving. But I need somebody to know that whatever the situation is, God is working it out. When the psalmist declares here that many are the afflictions of the righteous. I want to talk about, first of all, that God develops the Christian. As a child of God, it's important to know that God takes us through a series of things that are designed for our development. Do not think that God is trying to destroy you in it. It's all about building you up in whatever you go through. 
The only way you're going to build muscle is through resistance. The only way you're going to build the testimony is through a test. The only way you're going to really have a message is oftentimes through the mess that we have to deal with. God really enhances our spiritual portfolio by giving us a series of afflictions. The Bible says many are the afflictions. Isn't that something? Many of the afflictions. The James uh, in the New Testament says, count it all joy uh, when you fall into various trials, many different kinds of tests and trials. That God in his permissive will allows us to go through a series of different kinds of afflictions and or tests because he wants to make certain that we are tried in every area so that we develop as a Christian the capacity to represent him in the world like we should. You really don't really know where your prayer life is until you've been tested. You really don't know where your commitment, your faithfulness is until you've been tested. And so when the affliction comes, it comes, watch it, it comes to serve a purpose. God wouldn't allow it to happen to you just to use you as a spiritual guinea pig. No, God is developing you, helping you become stronger. This thing that you are going through is not unto death, but it is for your development. I need you to say that with me today. This thing that I'm going through is not unto death, but it is for my development. When you come out of this, you're going to be stronger, wiser, better. That's why you have to give God glory for allowing you to experience what you experience. It is this moment, child of God, that you have to say, you know what? He's working it out. The devil wants you to believe that this thing is terminal. It is going to take you out, that it's permanent reality, but this thing is temporary. Somebody on this call can be a witness. You went through something, the devil tried to say, this is it, it's over for you, but you came out on the other side and you realized God was just allowing you to go through it because it was a part of your development. Thank God for everything that develops me. Now, Lord, I see clear now. I know who my real friends are now. I know the value of prayer now. I know the power of your word now. I know what it's like to be faithful now, standing by myself, even about to stand with you by myself. God, I'm okay because I thank you for the experiences that I've gone through. Many, many are the afflictions of, the Bible says, the righteous of the righteous. Let's talk about that. Because those of us who are righteous, we don't feel that it's fair sometimes. We say, Lord, if I do all the things that I'm supposed to do, does bad happen to me? Well, the rain falls on the just and the unjust. What happens is that God displays our convictions. Not only does God develop the Christian, but he displays our convictions. The righteous go through the affliction because God can trust the righteous to represent him in the earth. Listen, what we believe fundamentally is often given a platform in the world so people can literally see this is what a Christian really looks like. This is what a child of God looks like when they go through a situation. Somebody needs to know that God is allowing you to be used as evidence of what true convictions really mean. This is not the time for you to fold or to crack. But this is the time for you to stand up and rise to the occasion and display your convictions. Just because I'm righteous doesn't mean I'm not going to have a trial. But I'm going to be like Job. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. All of my appointed days will I wait until my change comes. Job understood very clearly that God was positioning him to really prove to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> my prayer for you is that you truly truly display your convictions but then child of God I want you to hear this finally God delivers us completely God delivers us completely the Bible says many of the afflictions yeah there are going to be a lot of things that are designed to develop me and they happen to the righteous yes God is displaying my convictions, but I love the conjunction, but, there it is, but, you know the conjunction cancels out whatever happened before it, here it is, the Lord delivers him out of them all, 
what is God doing? He doesn't just deliver us out of selective things. He delivers us and has the power to get us up out of it all. He delivers completely. Sometimes the enemy will say, well, you know, God can deliver you from that. And he can deliver you from that. But, oh, no, this thing right here, God doesn't have power over that. The devil is a liar. God's will for your life, child of God, is that you will come out of it all. Everything that God allowed you to go through, he's God enough to pull you through. He's going to pull you out of it. I've come to tell you the devil has no authority. Today you ought to declare, Lord, thank you for allowing me to come out of it all. Thank you for allowing me, God, to see myself on the other side of it. I want you today to begin to think about all the things you might be going through right now. Begin to think about maybe that financial crisis, maybe that diagnosis, maybe that situation with your family, and declare over your life, I'm coming out of it all. I'm coming out of it all. As you sit there in contemplation, thinking about, Lord, what is this season about in my life? You just remember, this season is designed to develop you. It's designed to show somebody what real conviction looks like. But it's also to prove to you that God has the power to deliver you out of it all. When you come out of this, man, you're coming out with a testimony. You're coming out with a testimony of what it means to really declare that I've been through the storm of the rain, but I've made it. I've had heartaches and pain, but I've made it through it all. I'm giving God the glory today. Let that be your word. He's working it out. The people look at you and say, how are you doing? You tell them, I'm coming out of it all. Let that be your word today. I thank God for the power of his word. And I want to pray for you right now because I just believe God is moving now. And we just want to tap right into this moment now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. For everybody on this call, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. God, thank you for reminding us that you are working behind the scenes right now, navigating circumstances. God, right now, no matter what the situation in the courthouse, no matter what the situation is, in the hospital, no matter what the situation is in our family, you are working it out. We thank you, God, for sending your confirming word today that this is nothing but just a development season. Thank you for allowing our faith to represent you in the earth. And thank you, Father, for having the power to bring us not out of some of it, but out of all of it. I speak right now healing in the name of Jesus. I come against every disease that attempts to take uh, and come at the lives of your people. Now, I speak right now, God, a reversal. I speak right now, God, a cancellation of the enemy's assignment. I speak right now with that family situation. I speak right now, Father, over that legal situation. God, you are a judge. You are a lawyer who's never lost a case. You are a doctor who has never lost a case. We thank you, Father. We trust in you. Thank you for making a way. Thank you for keeping our minds stayed on you. I come against the spirit of depression, distraction, and I declare today that our spirits may be revived. We may go forward with the spirit of positivity and optimism, believing and trusting in your word. We thank you, God, that it is already done. We believe by faith right now that the best is yet to come. We give your name glory and give your name praise. Father, thank you. And I bless you right now. Every need on this call be met. In the name above every name, the name of Jesus, we declare it and we decree it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, listen, ooh, I thank God for you. Hey, hey, hey. Join us tomorrow in Bible study. Please do that uh, at 12 noon, 5 o'clock and 7. I want to see you there. And then also, please don't forget uh, to tweet. Don't forget to tweet. Let me know at Joseph Walker 3. If you were on the prayer call, if this is your first time, let me know. I'd love to connect with you. Follow me on Twitter. Tell your followers to follow me on Twitter at Joseph Walker 3. If you're on Instagram, tell your followers to follow me at Bishop Joseph Walker 3. I want to get the word out to as many people as we can. Tonight, 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 TBN, 9 o'clock p.m. It's going to be a powerful, powerful, powerful moment of ministry. And also, I want you to pray about our broadcast going around the world. Those of you that are on the call, I want you to get ready because next Tuesday, yes, next Tuesday, 
the 17th. You do not want to miss it because Mount Zion's relevant word broadcast will be coming to the Word Network at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern, every Tuesday night. So, wow, look at the doors God is opening. We're touching millions of people tonight on TV air. But then next Tuesday going forward on the Word Network, over 88 million people in 200 countries are going to be blessed by what God is sharing through the Mount Zion Church. I hope you will pray for us. If you feel led to support us, do that. Say, I want to support as the Word of God is going forth around the world. You do that. You support however you want to support, however the Lord needs you. We want you to know we thank God for you in advance. May God bless you and yours as our prayer. Have a blessed day. And remember, He's working it out. Thank you for joining the Mount Zion Prayer Call. We pray that you will continually be blessed.